All of those thoughts go out the window as Sayori's lips finally meet mine. Oh! Yes! Yes! That's what I've been waiting for! It's Finn here and welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies. And it seems that the Literature Club is enjoying themselves in this Christmas party in MC's house and so far so good, everyone got their presents and now they're playing games. So I really am excited to see what happens next in this episode of Doki Doki Blue Skies. Now before I begin this episode, I just wanted to clear some things out. If you haven't been following me on my social media, link in the description below to be updated on what I've been doing nowadays and stuff like that. So uh, I announced that I was going to take a cool, da a, um, a cool down from my YouTube channel like a monthly hiatus or, and stuff like that because of school stuff and all. And uh, I had like some pain and suffering previously and now I'm in tip top shape. So uh, that aside, you guys know the drill. And what time is it? It's Doki Doki time. An hour in and it's very clear that the game is clearly between Yuri and Monika who are roughly neck and neck. Everyone's been enjoying it though, even Natsuki. Although she tries to act like the whole thing is boring to her, I can tell she's having fun. Currently, it's Sayori's turn. The color pink? Oh, the entertainment category. The 90s video game characters Banjo and Kazooie are what to animals? Ooh, I should know this one. Yeah, I swear we've played it together when we were kids. Well, I don't because I don't own a Nintendo 64, unfortunately. I was I'm I'm born in the era with the um with the PlayStation 2 and all that stuff, cause um yeah. <laughs> cool game though, but I really wish I played more, but uh, my family ain't that wealthy and such, so I completely understand that. Can you give me a hint? Sorry, you'll just have to grin and bear it. She pouts, clearly missing the cleverly concealed hint. Well, what are the choices? Um, a bear and a bird, a lizard and a bat, or a gorilla and a monkey? I can't remember. I'm gonna go with the bear and the bird. Oh, yay! I got it right! Oh, he just hit my keyboard. Well, <laughs> I totally knew that. Well, you got that right, Sayori. Even though I never played the uh, the Banjo and Kazooie games before, like I said, I, I should definitely play more games sometimes. If you got it wrong, we wouldn't be friends. Wow! Hey! Let's see what I get. Huh, Lurcher. In the Japanese story, The Spider's Thread, why it was... Can, why was Kandata unable to escape hell using the spider web? The spider's web. Oh, huh. I've heard of that one before. Especially in that one killing game that we are all familiar with. I'm just joking with ya. <laughs> the web was an illusion. Other prisoners were also trying to use the web to escape. Or... The devil cut the web before Kandato could break free. Nothing like an easy question, huh? I remember reading this story a very long time ago. Uh, this is really going to bother me if I don't get it right. Uh, it's B. She flips the card over. Aha! I knew it. Another point to me. Nerd. Another one to the president. Knowledge is power, Natsuki. Natsuki mumbles something under her breath. Anyway, if I get another geography question, I'm gonna flip. What does blue mean again? Ah, uh, don't say it's geography. Okay, it's not geography. She rolls her eyes. It is, isn't it? Her eyes furrow as she reads the question. What's the capital of Australia? <laughs> Oh, you got another one right there, Natsuki. Sydney, Adelaide, or Canberra? Adel Adel Adelaide? Um, to any of my Aussie uh, audience out there, please correct me if I'm wrong. I am so, so sorry. I don't know uh, what this pronounces into. Sydney and Canberra, I know, but a Adelaide, Adelaide, I think? Is that how you say it? 
I don't know, but please let me know in the comments down below. I, I don't know how to say it. Don't most people get this one wrong? Mm-hmm. Along with Canada, most people think it's Toronto or Vancouver. Ugh, now I get the feeling that this is a trick question. Like, I've heard of Sydney and a Adelaide, and I would have picked one of those two. To, uh, to heck with it, I'm gonna go with Canberra. Uh, oh, that's right. Well, that was easy. Hey, One point for you as well, Natsuki. I thought it was Adelaide, to be honest. I would have picked Sydney. Who's the nerd now, Natsuki? Shut up. Hmm. Science one, eh? Which of these... Oops, I accidentally uh, clicked that one because, well... <laughs> which of these ar arteries is a major artery of the forearm and wrist? Ah, dang it. Carotoid radial femoral. Ah, I know this one. I'm fairly certain it's the radial. Yeah, the, caroto the, the carotid is in the neck. How did you know that? Because I pay attention in biology, silly. Why does everyone think I'm an idiot or something? I do, because I'm an idiot myself. Wah, 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 wah. Prove that you're not an idiot by winning, eh? Why don't you? She got you there, Finn. Can't really dispute that. <laughs> a couple of hours have passed since the end of the board game. A comfortable, lazy atmosphere has sa settled, upon the s settled upon the room, the kind where no one can be bothered to do much after eating a hefty meal. As the night wore on, the general conversation topics have grown a little more mellow and reflective. We're all lounging in the living room. Sayori is next to me and I'm fighting the urge to cuddle up with her. Oh ho ho! Well, aside from the members are still here, maybe we should just cuddle later. Um, let's get the party over first and then we can cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll definitely gonna stop doing that. Because uh, even though I'm not wearing armor and all that stuff, but still, you get the point. I don't know if she wants to tell everyone that we're together yet. As I'm trying to figure out a way to talk to her in private, she suddenly springs up and whispers in Monica's ear. Both girls glance in my direction as Monica giggles. Both of them get up and head over to the kitchen, whispering conspiratorically to one another. The strange change of behavior causes me to raise an eyebrow. Uh, what are you two doing? Oh, you, you'll find out soon. Something about the sing-song way of how she delivered that line rouses my suspicions further. I glance over to Natsuki and Yuri, but both are holding a poker face. Well, as good as a poker face as they can manage, that is. Either of you guys know what's going on. Oh, oh, he's so going to gonna mess this up. Natsuki, don't be so rude. What? Come on, this is gonna be so funny. You guys know that I'm literally, li literally sitting right here, right? Sitting right here, so... Yeah. Yuri shoots me a sympathetic look. I would tell you, but I w I've been told not to. It'll ruin the surprise. Can any can everyone drop this Illuminati stuff and tell me what's going got into Illuminati? What? What? <laughs> Why is there like an, an, an Illuminati in my kitchen? What's going on here? Finn, can you come here? Bewildered, I oblige, walking up to Sayori and Monica. I notice, I notice that the former looks really nervous for some reason. Man, I don't know what was in that food we just ate, but it's making me, but it's making you all act super weird. Oh, that food? I, I don't know what we ate, but okay. And also, Sayori, uh, you, you okay there? Why are you blushing at this at this time? Monica steps away from us, shooting Sayori a wink as she does so. Look up, Finn. Half expecting some sort of cryptic hint on the ceiling, I oblige. Oh. Oh no. What? What's wrong, MC? Is that... Is that... Mistletoe? MISTLETOE?! Yo, what?! 
Mistletoe that earlier I'm fairly certain was not there. And I'm fully aware of what you're meant to do under it. Let me guess. Are we doing the thing? Are we doing the thing? Clench those butt cheeks, everyone. As Sayori shuffles over to me, my heart starts pounding once more. It was nerve-wracking enough when it's just us <laughs> two earlier. You set this up with the girls, didn't you? A poorly disguised look of innocence on Sayori's face tells me all I need to know. I should have seen this coming. What a time to forget how crafty you can be, Sayori. She's standing right in front of me now, expectancy clearly visible on her features. Do you want us to look away? <laughs> only a distant, far away part of me registers Monica's voice. Right now, the only thing I'm truly focused is on the beautiful girl in front of me. Actually, no, that's a lie. The most important thing I'm focusing right on right now is how not to mess this up. All of those thoughts go out the window as Sayori's lips finally meet mine. Oh! oh yes! 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 That's what I've been waiting for! <laughs> yes! Oh! <laughs> yes! This is what I've been waiting for! Oh. <laughs> yes! Uh, oh, yes, fellow knights! We've done it! We've done tier two! It's finally here and we got the mistletoe right above us! <laughs> oh my god, best content ever! Well, there's our content, fellow knights. Are you enjoying it? Ah, yes, I'm so happy right now. We finally kissed. We finally did tier two. Well, on, on Christmas anyway, but still, it doesn't matter. We did it anyway. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Give me a moment. I, I I guess I'm I'm pretty sure someone heard me. You'll be at tier two, which is smooching. Okay, okay. I finally let it out of my system, and uh, let's just keep going because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fanboy so hard for the rest of this episode. Uh, and in that moment, nothing else matters. I sigh contentedly, pulling her closer to me. One of my hands caresses. Karis? Karis is the back of her head while the other gently cups her face. Nothing could have prepared me for this moment. I'm drinking her in, lost in the sensation of her lips on mine and her warm, soft hands linked around the back of my neck. All of the fears I had messing about messing this up melt away as the kiss progresses. I have no clue what I'm doing, but from how good this feels and how blissful Sayori seems to be. I think it's safe to say it's working. Uh, eventually we break away. It's impossible to tell how long that kiss went on for. Seconds? Minutes? Years? An eternity? Yeah, that could be an eternity! <laughs> As I open my eyes, Sayori's beautiful face fills my vision. There's such a tender, heartfelt look in her eyes that I've never seen before. <laughs> Oh, that adorable giggle. Sheesh, you too. <laughs> I knew it. Natsuki rolls her eyes. Duh, wasn't it super obvious when Sayori asked us to bring the mistletoe? No, I mean, ever since Finn joined the club, I had a gut feeling they liked each other. <laughs> I guess she knew sometimes, even though she ain't that sentient in this mod, but still. Childhood sweethearts, eh? That almost sounds like a trope. The way you two spoke about one another, it was ever so endearing. I'm happy for you two. Yeah, congrats and all. Just keep the mushy stuff outside the club, okay? Okay, Natsuki, as you wish. I agree weakly. I'll do my best. Anyway, it's getting late. I think it's time we leave these lovebirds to it. Oh, lovebirds! Yo, let's go! She nudges Yuri. Uh, oh, yes, of course. 
Thank you for hosting the party, Finn. It was really enjoyable. Yeah, it was. Just make sure you use <laughs> What? Not Tiki! Come on, we're not in that phase yet. We just did tier two. And well, tier five earlier, but but still, we're not in that phase yet. Come on. Natsuki! <laughs> oh, Natsuki, Natsuki, Natsuki. You... You sneaky cupcake little... Do not do tier 50! Jeez. And on that awkward remark, Sayori and I are left... <laughs> Even her face, I think she knows what's going on as well. <laughs> oh no, I, I'm afraid I'm definitely going to tarnish her innocence when, when that time comes. But eh, it's normal I guess, but still, she can be as innocent as she can ever be. So, we're all safe fellow knights, we're all safe. There's a moment of silence. Finn. What's up? She bites her lip. Looking away, there's traces of insanity on her face. Can I ask you something that might sound a bit weird? Uh, sure. Was it okay for us to kiss? I mean, wasn't the mistletoe idea yours? I know, I know. It's just, well, my heart telling me that this all, that this all okay. But my brain telling me, well, it's being a bit of a meanie. This was the right choice, right? Well, I made the right choice and the right route because, of course, I'm going for the best girl that I really, really, really freaking love. Sorry, I know this might sound really sudden. I just didn't want to say anything while the others were here. Sorry, it's just still so confusing. I take her hands in mine and tilt her head so our eyes meet. Look, Sayori, why are you feeling like this was the wrong decision? It's just, it's kinda hard for me to stop believing that I'm not worth your love and your attention. And the last thing I want to do is track you down and have you waste your time on someone like me. But at the same time, I'm trying to stay hopeful and listen to my heart, which is telling me that it's okay for what I want. Well, did you enjoy the kiss? Because I don't know about you, but I really, really enjoyed it. Hey, MC, you and me both. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy we got our, well, was this our first kiss? I don't know, but still, especially on Christmas night. Now that's even better! She blushes. I did, yeah. You're a good kisser- Oh, Oh my god! Oh, okay! Alright, Finn, focus. Focus, focus! Enough, enough, enough fanboying. We wouldn't be, we wouldn't be here all day. Well, i never been happier. Whenever you're around, I'm always in better spirits. We both want each other, and we're both happy with each other, so how can this be the wrong decision, Sayori? I don't really know for sure, but I'm guessing this is the depression telling to tell you you're not allowed to be happy. Of course you are. Don't worry, Sayori, we'll get through this together. So remember this, this is all my choice. No one is forcing me to make it. She pauses for a moment, reflecting on my words. I just hope I've managed to get through her. Okay, thanks Finn. I guess you're right. Well, get to her. Get through to her, I guess. I'll try to remember that. Oh, by the way, sorry for putting you on the spot when the others were around. <laughs> oh, I bet you were enjoying that. <laughs> Me too. I enjoyed that as well. It's alright, I got to kiss you, so it made up, so it's more than made up for it. That was really nice, wasn't it? I think I enjoyed kissing you a lot more without three people watching. Well, they're all gone, so you do you- What? 
Without even waiting for her to finish the question, I kissed her again. Oh man, this is something I could definitely get used to. As it's just the two of us, the kiss feels a lot more personal. And that's absolutely fine by me. Merry Christmas, Sayori. With our faces only inches apart, she playfully nuzzles my nose with her own laughing. Holding her this close, being able to hear her heartbeat, feeling her warm breath on my face, hearing her whisper. Thank you for everything, Finn. Merry Christmas to you too. Though this feels like an absolute bliss, a part of me can't help but wonder what I'm getting myself into. Give me a moment again. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I, I finally, 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 finally got it out of my system. I mean, come on, just, just look at this. Ain't this really adorable? And also, YouTube, I swear to Glob if you see this as... I don't know what is. Either you're... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through that route so I, I'm just saying though but still come on now look at these two uh, you guys asked for this and not only that I I asked for this as well so <laughs> Merry early Christmas to all of you fellow knights <laughs> oh, consider this as my Christmas gift to all of you I guess <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun right now with uh, with today's episode. <laughs> Although this feels like an absolute bliss, a part of me can't help but wonder what I'm getting myself into. It would be naive to think that everything would be sunshine and rainbows from here on out, no matter how strongly we feel for each other. Will we be really okay together? Perhaps there's no sense in worrying about the future so much. Maybe it'll just be the best to take each day as they come. After all, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, um, getting her the help that she needs. That's what she definitely needed, right? So, cannot wait for that one. And now we're in. And now we're in Act Three, <laughs> into the unknown. Ha huh. feels like an eternity to finish this mod, but still, I'm having fun. Most people typically see January as a pretty dreary month. January blues, I think it's called. The cold weather, the grey skies, the end of the Christmas holidays. Yeah, I can see it. Uh-oh, this music's pretty good. Not this January, though. I haven't been able to get Sayori's kiss out of my mind. It's hard to believe she's actually my girlfriend now. Hey, I think we did it now. I think. Well, officially, as a um, as a couple, in a way. But I don't know. And just four months ago, we hadn't spoken in years. Joining the club, discovering Sayori's feelings for me, and well, finding out about her, finding out about her depression. The whole thing has just been so unexpected. Still, there's a few days left on the Christmas break and I know exactly how I want to spend them. After shooting Sayori a text, I make my way over. What magical adventures are we gonna go on today, Finn? I'm glad you asked that, Sayori. Today we're going to a magical snowy wonderland. Expected to be a wild journey filled with uh, snowballs and festive lights and no crazy old man with a crown and penguins around She looks at me for a moment before bursting out laughing. Oh You're so silly sometimes Hey, it's not like you could come up with a good imagery on the spot Try me Okay, I will let's see what you can come up with miss literary, literary expert she thinks for a moment. We're going on a bold, daring venture to a place brimming with magical lights, pristine snow, and s frozen icy fractals, and no crazy man with a crown and penguins around. 
Uh, you know what? You know when I'm beat. Sayori grins with pride, puffing her chest out proudly. Although I bet you don't even know half of those words mean. Did Yuri lend you a Theosaurus? I expected my jibe to earn a pout from her, but she stands firm. Don't be jealous that she'll never stack up to the Ice Queen. Oh, Ice Queen? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ice Queen? Bold words from someone whose hands get cold super easily. Especially when this person accidentally leaves her gloves at home. That got her. Meanie, you'll ne you can never let me win. I slide up close to her and plant a kiss on her nose. You'll love it, really. Though the pout tells me otherwise, there's no denying that red blush creeping onto her cheeks. Oh, it's still snowing, huh? Even though December is already over, but I don't care. By the way, for your secret Santa, who did you go shopping with? Natsuki. That must have been an awkward afternoon. Oh, she even got her coat under her uh, her blue sweater. I mean, yeah, extra, extra warmness, I guess. So, or extra warmth, I'd say. It wasn't actually. It's rare that I get to see Natsuki outside of the club, so it was a nice. It was a really nice day out together. Girls' day out, eh? You could say that. She helped me out a lot when it came to picking a present for you. T -t -t w couldn't even think of a present for me without some outside help? You're the one who admitted it was hard at the Christmas party. Checkmate. Since when was your memory that good? No fair. The Ice Queen never forgets. She laughs as I roll my eyes. You really like that self-appointed title, don't you? It doesn't even make sense. You hate the cold. Does it bother you? Should I let it go? <laughs> what? Sayori, are you pulling an Elsa on me? Bruh. I'm pulling you, Jesse. <laughs> Same. Same thoughts. Oh my god, you just let it go. And <laughs> I did it. Oh no. Ah, uh, Frozen. Good movie. She giggles sweetly. Playfulness laced in her laugh. Anyway. anyway, she was really stuck on what to get Yuri. There were the obvious choices, like a new pen, a book, or something to do with tea. She was considering getting her one of those, but she said she wanted to go for something that wasn't so obvious. She can be really thoughtful when she wants to be. Yeah, I get that impression. The look on Yuri's face. Man, she really wasn't expecting the lily at all. I have thought Natsuki would have just got her a horror book and be done with it. Well, that's the thing. Natsuki said she likes to surprise people. Once you get past her prickly side, she really has a big heart. Not exactly hard to have a big heart when you're that small though, isn't it? Finn! It's a joke, it's a joke. Honestly, that's a bad joke there. Although, please don't tell her I said that. Hmm. Only if you buy me chocolate. That doesn't sound so b- And maybe some cookies. Anything else? Back massage, a Ferrari, perhaps a holiday cruise to the Caribbean as well. <laughs> well, now that you mention it. You'd be so lucky. <laughs> Alright, okay. Oh, are we gonna- Hang out here in this little cafe? Okay. What you're gonna have, Sayori? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we're just gonna leave it there, fellow knights. I'm sorry again, there will always be the next episode. And man, today's episode is just... <laughs> so good. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this and uh, I couldn't wait any longer so consider it as an early Christmas special to you guys and well an early Christmas gift for me. So like I said again in the intro, Merry Early Christmas to all of you fellow knights. <laughs> oh man, I just uh, hmm, really need to uh, 
take a rest after what I just saw and all that stuff. But it's worth it, it's worth it. We finally got to tier 2 and... Well, we advanced to tier 5, all things to, uh, to, to Jay Kill in gaming. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I wonder what will happen next in the next episode. I'm really sure she'll definitely get the help she needs. So anyway, if you like what you're seeing and enjoy what you're watching, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.